After drinking some water to get my body going, I start up with grapefruit and I usually eat this whilst I'm getting ready. And as you can see here, I'm poorly cutting it because I just can't cut grapefruits basically. So make sure you always get a responsible adult to do this or otherwise just suffer on your own like I am. <laughs> Then I'm also having this sunshine, sunshine juice which I made on my channel which I'll leave in the cards there and this time I just added some mango chunks which made it really creamy too. So for lunch I'm preparing this wrap to take with me because I'll be out and about. It's quite an old one I think it's out, a little bit out of date but it still works it's not going to make me feel ill. And as you can see it's wheat, dairy, egg, nuts, soy free and most importantly vegan and I have to eat this because I am gluten intolerant but you know use any wraps that you prefer that's vegan as well and i'm also using this tesco salad pack which i you know i was just feeling lazy so i just bought this so i can use it on salads and put it in things like these i'm just putting it on the wrap and also adding these vegan sort of like fried chicken replicas which I will be up on the channel next week monday so if you want to see a recipe for this all natural it will be on the channel next week monday and I'm just folding it but because it's a bit stiff and there's quite a lot in there it's kind of gone into like a massive taco but I'm just gonna roll with it and probably put some more salad in it as well and to not waste plastic or anything else I'm gonna pop it back in the plastic that the wrap came in and then I can just easily transport it and it'll keep it nice and secure so nothing will fall out Right, so for dinner, I got these two packet rices from Sage just to try out, and it's cauliflower rice as well. I told you this is like proper lazy, and I'm using some toasted sesame oil to fry the cauliflower rice off in, just so it gives it that nice nutty taste. Then I added some onion garlic, onion granules, and garlic granules just for taste. I'm frying it off a little bit more before adding the rice into the mixture as well. The one on the right is spicy, sort of Mexican-y lentil rice and the one on the left is golden rice with some vegetables in it too. And it's breaking them up so it cooks evenly. According to the packets, each packet contains contains two servings so that with the cauliflower rice should add up to about five servings but we see as vegans we know we eat way more than that <laughs> right so in the same pan i've removed the rice and put in these char grilled mediterranean vegetables which is just a simple mix of aubergine courgette and peppers but before that i'm going to fry some very pink red onions they were in my fridge and i just needed to use them up before they went off and funny so i'm just frying this off but the heat was a bit too high so they got a bit burnt so I added some water in but to be honest it actually turned it into a nice caramelly type flavour which worked really well and then I'm just adding in the frozen vegetables to the mix and frying them off on a lower heat so they defrost and take in the flavour of the onion. Now I'm adding these like liquid aminos which is kind of like soy sauce I guess but gluten free and gives it a bit of a salty flavour and that with the vegetables, the tartness of the vegetables kind of gave it sort of like a sweet and sour vibe and mix to it. So it was kind of like a fusion, if you could so well. Now I'm adding in some seasonings, which is like turmeric, cumin, garam masala, garlic granules again, because I love garlic, a bit of black pepper and chilli powders, and a whole tin of tomato chopped tomatoes and I'm just mixing them together until they're well combined and cooked and leaving it to cook for about two three four minutes and that is it it's also like sweet and sour Mediterranean vegetables which is like a nice fusion of every flavour which I love now I'm serving this up with the rice from before and the vegetables on top it might look like a little bit but it's quite a lot actually it's really filling I also drank about a litre and a half of water throughout the day, so stay hydrated, kids. <laughs> so that's it for my lazy summer edition of what I eat in a day.